Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss the remaining questions of dental material from NEET MDS 2022. So let's go to the question number 13. Double processing is done in the options are heat cure resin, cold cure resin, composite and unfilled resin. The correct answer is option A that is heat cure resin. Various techniques have been proposed to improve the fit of acrylic denture and one such technique is double processing technique. It was proposed by Villa for complete dentures. In this technique, base is processed to the cast first and then the teeth and their veneer part is processed to this base. So this is the double processing technique. Let's now go to the question number 14. Pycnometer is used to measure. Options are flow or viscosity, strength, optical properties and density. The correct answer here is option D that is density. Pycnometer is commonly used to measure density. It has a heavy spherical head and this helps it submerge in the liquid. Here in this picture, the blue liquid has low density. As you can see, the pycnometer is fully submerged, while the green fluid has high density. The pycnometer is less submerged compared to the blue fluid. Let's now go to the question number 15. Which component of toothpaste promotes mineralization? The options are fluoride or sodium monofluorophosphate, humectant, sodium lauryl sulfate and pyrophosphate. The correct answer here is option A that is fluoride. Fluoride improves resistance to caries. It may under a proper oral hygiene regime enhance the remineralization of tooth surface with incipient non-cavitated enamel lesions. So, it hardens the surface. So, if there are non-cavitated incipient carious lesions, then fluoride may help to mineralize these lesions. Now, apart from fluoride, humectant is used to keep the toothpaste moist. Sodium lauryl sulfate is detergent and pyrophosphate acts as an anti-calculus agent. It demineralizes or it helps to remove the calculus. Let's now go to question number 16. Strongest abrasives are obtained if the abrasive particles are. The options are resin bonded, sintered, vitreous bonded and rubber bonded. The correct answer is option B that is sintered. Sintered abrasives are the strongest type as the particles are fused together. In vitreous bonded, the particles are mixed with a glassy or ceramic matrix material and then it is fired. In resin bonded, the particles are cold or hot pressed and then they are heated so that the resin is cured. And that's how the particles are attached to the burr or the instrument. In rubber bonded, the method is similar to resin bonded abrasives, but instead of resin, rubber is used. Let's now go to the question number 17. Terminology used to describe a stress that stretches or elongates a body is. Options are tensile stress, modulus of elasticity, proportional limit and shear stress. The correct answer here is option A that is tensile stress. Tensile stress is a stress caused by a load that tends to stretch or elongate a body. So this is the correct answer. While elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus represents the stiffness of a material and it is calculated as a ratio of elastic stress to elastic strain. Proportional limit is the stress above which plastic deformation or permanent deformation occurs in an object, while shear stress tends to resist 
स्लाइडिंग और ट्विस्टिंग ऑफ वन पोर्शन ऑफ अ बॉडी ओवर अनदर लेट्स नो गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 18। इंप्रेशन मटेरियल ऑफ चॉइस फॉर फ्लैबी रिज इज ऑप्शन आर इंप्रेशन कंपाउंड इिवर्सिबल हाइड्रोकोलाइड एडिशन सिलिकन एंड अगर The correct answer of this question is option C that is addition silicon. Now various techniques have been recommended to record a flabby ridge and these include one part impression technique controlled lateral pressure technique palatal splinting using two part tray technique selective impression compound flaming technique modified fluid wax technique multiple viscosities of PVS or polyvinyl siloxane impression technique and window technique currently there is no scientific evidence to support any one technique over the other so none of these techniques is given special consideration still to answer this question we must take into notice a few points first is in most of these techniques polyvinyl siloxane that is PVS or addition silicon is recommended as a secondary or a corrective impression material while alginate is recommended as a primary impression material and that too only in few of these techniques also the older techniques have recommended alginate whereas the newer techniques have all recommended the use of addition silicon we should also remember that addition silicon is the most widely recommended impression material so keeping all these points in mind i would say that the correct answer here is addition silicon that's all for now with this video i have discussed all the questions of dental materials i hope this video was helpful thank you